Today is a shoulder and bicep day, but I am starting with some bench press because I'm trying to get more fre frequency in with my bench because it sucks. I'm gonna do the same way again. I'm kind of messing around with my form and like where I bring the bar down just to see if I find anything that feels better. I don't know how I feel about that. So I have 95 on the bar. This is going to be like a, another warm up slash feeler set because I'm doing a little bit of a different grip. So I don't really know how heavy I can go, but we'll see. Okay. Feel pretty good. Got 105 on the bar now. I'm just gonna do it for one to see how it feels. Come on. That felt fucking easy as shit. Okay, so I have 115 on the bar. The last set, well, last rep felt pretty good. I haven't done 115 in a while though, so I'm gonna do this for one and see how it feels. And then we'll go from there. God damn it. I wasn't even close. 115 felt really easy, so I just decided to do a Hail Mary and attempt 135, and I did not get it, as you can see, but I did get it off my chest, which has never happened before. So I have 125 on the bar, which I have hit one time, like probably like seven months ago when I was at peak bulk and was just going super, super hard on bench and like bench only. So if I could get this, I'd be pretty stoked. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I should have fucking had that. That was ridiculous. Come on. Nope. Mother. So I just failed to 125 twice. Pretty butt hurt about it. I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. This is like the first day of doing this different grip. I'm bringing the bar down like higher up on my chest and I have a wider grip. My elbows are a little, are a little bit more flared. It kind of scares me because it makes my shoulder feel some type of way if I like don't perfectly groove it, but the weight does feel easier. So I think I'm gonna try to learn this form and see if it helps because my bench just doesn't ever go up. So we'll see. Okay. Thank God. I got 120, thank God, because I could not take a third fail in the same day. <laughs> but I'm gonna do uh, some pause reps with 95. I'm gonna try to do like three second pauses, but actually three seconds this time because I'm known to count a little bit too quickly during my pause reps. And I'm just gonna do it for as many as I can because I really have no clue how many I can get. Nope. 
<laughs> okay. Those were good, right? Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna do two sets of overhead press, hopefully for like four to five reps. So I'm starting with uh, 65 pounds as a warm up. I don't really know where I put my hands. I feel so light. <laughs> I can't tell where to put my hands with this. I have 75 in the bar. I'm gonna try to get four or five. I switched bars though, cause the other one was bent. <laughs> nope. Dude. I'm gonna hurt my back. This is my second and last set. I probably could have pushed for a fifth set on that one, but or a fifth, a fifth rep on that one. But my like back, I feel like is in a vulnerable position when I do this, and it scares me. So I just don't want to push too hard, especially where I haven't done this in a while. I'm not liking it. Okay, I am doing upright rows. I'm doing some side raises now. Honestly, after doing the heavy bench presses, well, heavy bench fails and then the one one solid rep I did and then the pause reps, my like mental strength, I guess, is just down. I'm like tired, not super motivated to push. So I'm probably just gonna do like light squeezing, good mind muscle, like isolation things for the rest of the time. Cause I just do not feel like going heavy on anything. <laughs> I'm doing another set of side raises. My motivation is so low right now. And the gym just went really quiet, so this is kind of awkward. Oh. oh, another one, and then I think we're gonna move on to biceps.
Oh. Moved on to biceps. I feel like shoulders got adequate stimulation and anything else is gonna be diminished returns just because it's tired from both pressing movements. I'm gonna start off with this and then I'll probably end up doing some isolation curls at the end. I'm going to be taking a deload week soon because I'm going to be going back home for like a week and I won't be in like a normal gym. So I'll be taking a deload that week and honestly I think it's very much needed. My everything just feels tired. I've been going so hard. I think that I could definitely benefit from a little break. I don't know if you can tell, but this machine's kind of weird. It's like very hard at the bottom. Like there's a weird like groove where all of a sudden there's way more weight at the bottom, only on certain weights though. But I mean, it's not really a bad thing because I guess it's training me to be like stronger in the length and position, which is good. But if it looks like I'm like weirdly strong at the top and struggling at the bottom, that's why. I'm doing isolation curls now. I picked up this 20 though and honestly it feels heavy as fuck. I don't know why. So we'll see if I can even do it. I think I did this last time though. I'm definitely gonna stick with this weight because I got it for like 11, I think. Pretty sure last time I only got it for like seven, but I'll take it.
Okay, last set. And then I'm gonna go pose and then I am going to get Chipotle. It's right on the way home from the gym and I need to grocery shop so I need to get food. Oh, my bicep is starting to pop up more. Did you see that? Yeah. That is definitely looking bigger. Do you see that? I do see that. Big boy. Big boy bicep. Some color. I don't know if it's supposed to be a useful. Yeah. Shake. Like, like. What? Did I? I am. Like shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. My sister died. Yeah.